All right, I'm going to show you a quick um, way of making a banner for your web page. If we go to File New, and we want to change the width to 728 pixels, 728, and the height to 90 pixels, 90. Keep it at pixels, don't change that. To keep the resolution at 72 dots per inch, click OK. And it will come in with the default as white because the background selected down the bottom is white. We want to change that to black, so go on and click black, uh, the color selection, go down to black, click OK, and then go to Edit, Fill. Click OK and it'll fill it with black. OK? Let's just drag this out a little bit. Now, what you want to do with the uh, banners is try and integrate the banner into the web page with no hard edges. Your web page will be black, so we need a banner that's going to look like it's part of that page as opposed to a, a rectangular stuck on that page. And you should use elements from your website, the content of the subject. So I will go to one of your folders, File, Open, and I'll pick, let's see the moon. Click OK. OK. Just just select an area. Rectangular tool. Uh, no, sorry, not the rectangular tool. The uh, lasso tool. And make sure feathers on 20. And we'll just pick a section of the moon. Edit. Copy. Now go back to your banner page, your banner window. Click on that. Make sure that's highlighted. Select Edit. Paste. Now you've seen it's gone in the background. Let's click the selection tool and just drag it to a, a part that you'd like. Okay. Now, this is quite a narrow banner, but um, what we'll do is we don't want a hard, a hard edge around there. Sometimes you might want a hard edge, but uh, for this one, I'll, I'll do it without. So, if we go to Edit, Transform, and Scale open this window a bit more, you'll see that the actual image of the moon has been surrounded by a scale box. Just click and drag the corner. Basically we want all that moon to be in the banner. Okay, that's it, we've got it now. Because it's jumping like this, it's locking to the edges, so just use your um, cursor keys on the keypad and move the image around. You can move that manually by here. And when you get to the part you want, just nudge it with the keys, get it within the black area, double click. Now when we put that onto the web page, it will just the black will blend in here and here. And it'll just look like the bit of the moon is floating. Okay, so we want to put some text on now. We'll call this a welcome page, so we just want to click on there because it's black text anyway. Click on that, find a colour, click OK. Go to the text tool, click, click on your page, and type in the word. Generally, in design, all capitals is bad. It's not, it's not easy to read, but on banners you can get away with it sometimes, and it depends on the font. You certainly couldn't use um, all capitals in a script font. It looks, it looks hideous, and you wouldn't be able to read it. So we'll just use a plain, sort of serif, a uh, non-serif font. I'll type in welcome. To my website. Okay. Click the selection tool and position that where you want. Now you're starting to build up here an image with layers. And this one you want to keep. So you need to save this as a Photoshop file. Which keeps all the layers like it is now. And you can recall that later and use it again to create another banner. All you have to do is deselect the eyelet in the text down here and it gets rid of the text. You can add another text layer and you can go on like that forever just building up different um, banners using the one template. Once you've flattened that image you can't edit it. It's, it's set in stone so remember to save this. If I go to save as, leave it as the Photoshop file format I had one there previously, so I'll just click on that, click save, and overwrite it. Okay, so now you've got that saved, and you can bring it back and alter it. Well, text, depends what you want to do with the text, you can leave it like that, it looks a bit boring to me, so 
um, let's change the colour, I'm not too keen on the colour for the text double click that, highlight it, go to colour I like gold yellow let's try gold yellow, ok, click ok let's see what it looks like, that's a bit better now, if you want to give that an effect go to image, uh, file, no, layer layer, layer style now here you can do a drop shadow, inner shadow, outer glow, inner glow, bevel and emboss, satin, colour overlay, gradient overlay and all the other stuff. I generally just keep to a few of these at the top here. Bevel and emboss is a good one, click that. Straight away as default it goes into this nice smooth futuristic type style. Um, you can do a hard edge, a hard chisel, gives it a bit more um, gives it another edge. You can use a soft chisel. I didn't really see the difference with hard chisels. Okay, and size you can make it bigger, soften it so it's not so, not too crunchy. Just leave it as it is like that. Okay. If you wanted to add some more images in the background, not a problem. File open. Um, let's just pick moon glow. Click OK. That's not a bad little image, that is it? So again, use the lasso tool. Just pick a little section here. Edit, copy, highlight your banner, edit, paste. It goes into another layer. Drag that around. Again, you want to go to edit, transform, scale. Click it until you get it to the right size. Drag it, sorry, to get it to the right size. use the arrow keys to nudge it up a bit double click it to set it, now you'll see it's gone over the writing go down to the layers palette that's because it's on top of the text so if you click layer 2 and just drag it until you see the, see the line see the line becoming thicker when you see that drop it, it's now behind the, the wording ok so that's just a simple way and creating a banner. Now you need to keep this file down to a small size so the web page loads quicker. So what we'll do is we'll go to save as, uh, save for web devices, sorry. If you look down there, on medium it's at 33k. That's fine, you could use that because broadband's quite quick these days. If we were doing a dial-up here, it would take 13 seconds on a 28.8 kilobits per second modem, which is quite slow. 13 seconds. You can change it, you don't want to lose the quality. If I go down to low, it starts to lose the quality. You may not see that there, but you, you will see it. So I usually keep to me to high 13k, no problem. Very high, 19k, still no problem. We could probably go to maximum here at 33k. So we'll leave that at 33k, that's fine click save into you um, I've got one here I think yes there I'll just overwrite that one save replace and that's it ready now for you to put into your web page okay catch you later